I got bacterial meningitis, which is sort of the one known for like limb loss and wow. like deaths and things like that. So I think when I first went in, they were like, you could be out in like four days, you could be fine. Um, but I was in hospital for a month. I was in hospital for about four nights. I had CT scan, I had a chest X-ray, and then a lumbar puncture, which was the decider of. And then I was on a drip constantly with antibiotics and pain relief. And, and like within the space of me being in a and &E, I think I was there for like yeah, two, three hours. By the time they figured out what it was, I couldn't physically walk, and like wow. I was in. I was in a wheelchair, like having to be wheeled to the next room. Yeah, once again, once you got closer with friends, you could, you know, then you would want to tell them, I, I think the strangers, when you're first meeting someone, you don't want to be like, hi, I'm Tilly, I had meningitis. Like, you don't want to be your illness, you want to be you. This is the thing that I think is so key is that hospitals aren't giving you the aftercare knowledge. Like, they literally said you're going to be fine in two weeks and it's just yeah. completely different. So I think, yeah, I was very like naive to uni. Would you say um, it's literally like changed your life? Uh, yeah, massively. I think, yeah, just like my view on everything.